Well, President Cyril Ramaphosa has declared a special official funeral category one uh, for the late traditional prime minister of the Amazulu nation, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi in Ulundi, KwaZulu Natal. The president has also ordered that the flags uh, in the country be flown at half mast at stations around the country from today until after the funeral. But let's bring in our reporter now, Simpiwe Makanya. Uh, Simpiwe, uh, good morning to you. I mean, quite a big announcement, an important announcement there by the president on uh, uh, really how the country will be um, honouring Prince Mangosutu Butelezi in the run-up to his funeral. Well, indeed, uh, Naledi, good morning to you as well as the viewers of uh, the agenda at home. Well, uh, since the news of uh, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi, you know, broke on Saturday, uh, it was uh, sort of expected uh, that uh, government was going to be making an announcement of this nature and, of course, uh, receiving that statement from the presidency granting Prince Mangosutu Butelezi uh, the uh, state official funeral category one, which will be uh, sort of, uh, you know, be o overseen by the the military of uh, the South African National Defense Force. Uh, and of course, as I uh, take you through what we can expect uh, today in Alade, it's going to be a busy day, in fact, uh, with the various political parties that are expected to come here and pay their respect to the former, you know, uh, founder of the Igata Freedom Party and President Emeritus, uh, Prince Mangosu Tubtelezi. At about uh, 11 o'clock this morning, we are expecting the leadership of the Economic Freedom Fighters led by the Deputy President, that's Deputy President Floyd Shibambo, to be coming here to pay their respect to the family of the late Prince Mangosutu Butelezi. But of course, now, lady, I'm not alone on this uh, production. I'm with my colleague Ayanda Mklongo. Uh, Ayanda, thank you so much for, for your time. A lot has been said about when the funeral is going to be. There seems to be confusing, confusing uh, reports now. What can you tell us with regards to that? Conflicting reports uh, indeed, SMP. Of course, it, initially we've been reporting that uh, the funeral was going to take place on Friday. That's after a statement that was issued by the uh, provincial government, if you remember, on Monday. And um, we have now subsequently... It's been reported that the funeral has now been moved to a Saturday. But of course, we are waiting for official confirmation that will come from the... Uh, that will come uh, from the family. I think one would um, understand um, that it's it's a complex uh, matter. Of course, there's a lot of uh, moving parts, uh, so, so to uh, so to speak. Uh, it is not easy. They're trying to accommodate as many people um, as possible. You'd understand that government as well will probably have its own uh, programs. The provincial government as well may have um, its own programs. But also, I think importantly, and this is what the family has been stressing, that uh, Prince Mangosutu Teles's wishes was. Um, that ordinary people are not left out and I think that is what is going to be important to them so if indeed the decision has uh, it will be taken and officially confirmed a little bit later that it is going to be on Saturday I guess that is to be able to con to accommodate people that would be working so that they are able um, to attend we've already uh, been told that um, IFP supporters and just ordinary South Africans who want to come through and either be part of the memorial service, which of course is confirmed and will be taking place tomorrow uh, on Wednesday, uh, but who would want to come and pay their final goodbyes uh, to Prince Mangosu to Butelezi, that they're given uh, an opportunity to do so. So uh, we are still waiting. Of course, we are in constant communication uh, with the uh, family. Earlier on, we're just seeing... Um, Prince Mango Sutuptelezi's son, uh, Azuzifa, um, he has been on the phone uh, for hours. Um, and, and, and of course, as we know that it is a busy time for the family as they're trying to put together logistical arrangements um, for uh, um, Prince Mango Sutuptelezi's funeral. So for now, Sumpiwe, we are just waiting for official, the final, final confirmation that will come uh, from the family and we'll then update our viewers as soon as that has been made. And of course, we are expecting the leader of the official opposition uh, in the South African Parliament that uh, Mr. John Steen has and to be leading that delegation of Democratic Alliance MPs uh, here as well. What does that say really about the significance or the role that Prince Mangosutu Tilesi played uh, when he was a member of Parliament? Yeah. Well, so I don't it's, cold. it's a cold morning today in Olundi. But uh, yes, I'm, pure. Just, I'm just going through the schedule um, of the uh, leaders of political parties. As you're saying that it is going to be a very busy day today. Stop Starting off at around 10 o'clock with IFP delegations. These are the leaders of structures of the IFP from across uh, across the country. So that's going to be quite a big delegation that will be um, uh, coming 
through. Thereafter, it will be the leadership of the EFF. We also have Amazulu football um, a team. They will also be coming led by their management and the owner of the club, Mr. Sandy Lezungu, to pay their respects. As you said, then at one o'clock we are awaiting um, the DA delegation led by um, Mr. John Steenhazen. They'll also be in the afternoon, um, important to mention, the um, ANC delegation. These are the national leaders of the ANC who will be led uh, by the uh, party's uh, deputy president, uh, Paul uh, Mashadil. And of course, we also have the South African Local Government Association um, that is expected to come through as well as... Um, a representative of some, uh, some of the uh, different church uh, uh, denominations. So it's certainly going to be uh, a busy day. It's come as no surprise, of course, in Peru, that we are seeing the uh, leaders of the um, uh, po uh, uh, political parties in the highest of offices coming through. Of course, Prince Mangosutu Telezi was the longest serving member um, of parliament and has worked um, with, these, um, with these leaders for so long uh, in parliament. And of course, you know how the parliament of South Africa respected him um, um, as um, an elder, as an elder statesman, and so it was expected that we were going to see uh, these uh, leaders come through. Of course, with the DA as well, as well, we know the relationship that the DA now has uh, with the IFP as we are now moving towards uh, next year's election. They are now form part of the uh, multi-party multi-party pact these uh, the two parties are working together even here in the uh, province of Guaznatel so uh, it, it's no surprise that we will see the leadership um, of the DA come through uh, to pay their respects of course it's not only we are uh, going to see over the next coming days other political parties as well uh, that are expected uh, to come through to pay um, their uh, respects uh, in person uh, to the family well, that's my colleague there, uh, Ayanda Mshongo, taking us through what we can expect. Now, lady, as the day progresses today, it promises, of course, to be a busy day as uh, those uh, political party leaders are expected to be making their way to the uh, Gwapinda again, uh, residents here in Ulundi to pay their respect to the founder and the president emeritus of the IFP, Prince Mangosu to Buteles. It's important to note, uh, though, um, uh, uh, Naledi, that um, the uh, memorial service is scheduled to take place on Wednesday, but the date for the uh, funeral now has not been confirmed, and we will be in conversation with the family once all the logistical details have been finalized. It's back to you in studio for now. Yeah, we'll be watching all of that very closely. Of course, Simpua Makanya speaking to us from Ulundi in KwaZulu, Natali, is of course at the Butelezi homestead watching as uh, uh, members of various political parties are today expected to come and pay their last respects to uh, the former President Emeritus of the IFP and also uh, Prime Minister of the Zulu Nation.